Because I know, because I have a different opinion. You know, everyone has a different opinion. I personally didn't care for the soap, and that's why I figured have you try it and then tell everybody what you think. I guess. You know. So. Yeah, this works good. I feel. Hey, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully, great. Today, uh, what this video is going to be on Pearl Nano, the Perfection Soap, Super Blue Foam and Soap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the foam can and. Right now I have um, uh, less than an ounce, maybe a half an ounce hooked up in a bucket right here. It's pretty soapy. I already have uh, that mixed in the bucket with hot water. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put about an ounce in the foam can, in my cheap foam can. And, and this stuff's pretty thick, so I think it's concentrated. Um, I tried to find some stuff online about the products. real hard to find anything, any videos any information about this product um, we're going to be washing the Corvette with it and it's pretty thick so that's why I'm kind of thinking it's concentrated and I believe they do sell someone that's concentrated but this does not say this in the sample bottle so I'm going to put close to one ounce in the, the foam cannon right here we'll get this uh, mixed up and then we'll go right here this is a milliliters about 29 milliliters is about uh, about an ounce so basically 30 is an, you know, an ounce if you want to just round it off to 30 for milliliters and then we're going to put that in here and then we'll see how it foams up on a Corvette get me a working uh, little working table get my cart out right here shake it up a little bit so we're going to go close to it See, see how thick it is. Because if it's concentrated, I don't want to use too much. I don't want it to strip the wax. That's why I'm trying on the Corvette because it sits in the garage. If it does, no big deal. There you go. We'll pour it in here. Kind of windy today, so if you're getting wind, I'm sorry about that. It's a little windy. Get the excess in there, and see how big it is. All right, I'll hook this up, and we'll get the get the foam in. smell to me so, I'm not getting a smell from it All right there it's not too bad in the bucket and that in the sample I'll fill this bad boy up and then we'll get going quick we're gonna be using my Troy built got a Honda engine 5.0 gas pressure washer it's supposed to be at 2600 PSI is at 2.5. Do it does it uh, push out that much pressure? I don't know. So it works pretty good. That's what we're gonna be using. Up. I need a camera guy. The camera guy being lazy.
Okay, you can see it's barely foamed up. Put an ounce in it. It's not foaming it pretty much at all. If you look at it, hopefully you can see it. I'm going to add another ounce to that and see if we can get some better foam. Like I said, I cannot find anything on this product online, how to use it. And granted, it's going to be hard to see on the white, but you can see on the windows. It should foam up a little bit more than that. Even with an ounce, it should. All right, let me add another ounce in it, and we'll try it out again. All right, as you can see, I got my other ounce. So no one can say I didn't. I'll pour it in there, and we'll start it back up because it's loud, and we'll try it again. Put my hand in here. It's, I mean, it's got some good foam in the bucket. I got hot water. You can hear my hand. I mean, it just, it's not smooth. The soap's not, to me, it's not smooth. Like that limitless lather that I use, you just, your hand just slides, you know, like you got actual soap. Like you pour the soap in your hand and you just slide it. This, we'll try it, but right now I'm not, I'm not digging this. Out again, two ounces. Foamed up better with the two ounces, but not too bad. What do you guys think? Foam with two ounces. I'm going to go three ounces now. I'll go a little over because we use some. Let's see. I'm not... It's not foaming up that good. And plus, I got a cheaper foam cannon, but when I put my hand in the bucket, it doesn't seem that that slick. So I'll just use it, sample, might as well. All right, I'm gonna pour this in there. We'll try it again. I'm gonna rinse it first, and then we'll try it again. All right, keep watching. Oh yeah, while you're waiting for me to set this all up, new time, first time here, Describe. Come on. Three. This could be my last one. The more hand wash and see how, what it looks like. I'm pretty much out of the soap anyway. about three ounces or not more I would say three and a half a little over so you're gonna need probably three and a half ounces in your uh, foam cannon to get it to foam good man it just I don't know it just doesn't to me it just doesn't feel slick it really don't See if it cleans it. I 
Yeah, it just does not have that slickness to it to me. You know, you can even hear my hands. That's, but that's me. So, I mean, it foamed up pretty decent with the three ounces. So, you're going to need more. I mean, the soap is staying on there. Well, it's cooler out, too, so that's going to help. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna wash the whole vehicle and then see see if I like the soap. I don't know. What do you guys think? I know you're not here washing it, but I just don't like this. I mean, it's not bad. It's not terrible soap. I just wish you there was more a slickness to it. I hope someone else tries this stuff out. And uh, even if you have to buy the, the sample pack, try it out. Make a video. Let us know what you think of it. I'm going to continue washing it and then we'll go over our final thoughts. I'm washing it washing the Corvette you can see all the soap on the ground I mean it soaked up pretty good with the three ounces and uh, in the foam cannon and that's what it looks like I mean it's clean of course Corvette's shining um, what I did notice if you guys go back and watch where I was wrenching the car showing showing it rinsing the windshield and that I mean to me it, it kind of looks like in it's sheeting off pretty good and beating pretty good off the windshield from this so that's what I'm kind of noticing Doing that, I basically put so you three the first one another three another three so we got nine ounces something like that and granted I'm gonna I lost some as we were testing on each spray so you probably need six ounces in that in your foam cannon to get it to foam like we did that's what I'm thinking I mean I'm noticing a little bit more sheeting on the windshield than before but I washed it too got the dust off it but that looks pretty good if you want to go back I mean it kind of to me it seems like it did something put a layer of something on there on the soap I mean that's a big beads I mean granted I got just card in, in uh colonnade on it but man I, I did that in July of 2018 and we this car gets washed a lot and it did sit outside for a little bit let's see what the back end looks there's nothing on the back end we ain't getting no sheeting nothing to that change settings nothing on that flat surface that's flat that did it but yeah I got nothing here well you guys tell me what you think I mean he cleaned it I'm losing my light so I gotta do that Look, it's hard with what white and I'm using my light. Maybe right here. Alright, that's it. That's all I'm gonna do on this one. So yeah, before I give my opinion on it, it's basically, you know, everyone's got different water. We all live in different areas, different climates. So water's gonna play a big role on the effects on this. Um, so basically it took like six ounces, I would say. We used nine in the foam cannon test, so maybe probably six to when you get started to um, get the foam out of this. Um, it didn't feel real slick in the in the bucket that I'm even touching it. Didn't have that, you know. So yeah, it didn't feel like that real smooth, like that that um, limitless lather. It just it just feels real smooth in your hand when you use that soap. I mean, it feels like you poured the soap in your hand 
when you're in the, you know feeling it in the water and it's real smooth this didn't this you know drag on your hand you guys see it but um yeah that's the product right there i'm not gonna you know that's the results it did clean it i think this soap is mainly for a vehicle that's pretty much already clean um like this one you kept in the garage i think this is a product for something like that um hopefully someone else tries it out and and make show some results it's clean but to me i i can't i, I probably wouldn't buy it again um there's other soaps that i like but that's my opinion we all got a different opinion about different products um so that's it on the pearl nano super blue foaming soap boom right here so you guys i'm gonna dry it up and you guys tell me in the comments below what you think about the product hey i gotta show you one thing stay tuned trying out their pearl nano perfection speed coat ceramic waterless car wash but i'm gonna wash the vehicle and spray this and use it like a detailer um and see what it's like i might put it on this when i dry it that being a separate video but I'm, i want to put this on my everyday car on my uh, fusion and see what it does and see how well it kind of lasts for a couple weeks so i'm going to try to do that um uh next week hopefully because it's supposed to rain for the next couple days so yep i'll be using this next man i hate to bash a product this i think this might be my first one you know but that's what it is that's results from it sitting You guys tell me what you think the glass really beats well I gotta buff off some scratches on this but there you go you know what hang on let me grab my cordless leap blower and we'll see what what, what it does watch guys i appreciate you guys watching the video um yeah first time here subscribe and like and comment this stuff we'll be doing continuing doing and car shows and stuff like that so um yeah i know it said keep saying it but yeah let me know what you guys think um get you guys input from this video you guys have a great day later